ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन सो टुडे वी विल कम विथ अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन लेक्चर सो दैट इज वी विल गोइंग टू सी द डेटा माइग्रेशन फ्रॉम आर्क जी आई डेस्कटॉप टू आर्क जी प्रो एंड देन यू कैन टेक दिस डेटा टू आर्क जी ऑनलाइन एंड इन आर्क जी ऑनलाइन if you want you can create a website as you seen here i created one website on our west bengal coronavirus response okay so it's a hub so to doing this uh, uh, websites i'm not doing a single line of coding so all these things you can do and you just see here this hub this website which i just created so inside that i make it one dashboard like uh, in this you can get this confirm cases dead cases and recovery cases like that you can get and uh, these are the locations of the west bengals wherever you will click it will give you the informations about that even with that i given i attach the isri uh, dashboard which is created by the isri so this is the isri dashboard as you seen here so that i also linked with my website okay so from with uh, the west bengal informations you can get the full world informations and then we will give you some symptoms of this covid and all okay so what do we the prevent the next the steps okay so all this informations i created a nice websites on that okay so you can make your own websites uh, like this for anything anything so agjs hub is is kind of a um, platform which is giving you the opportunity to create your website okay with your data okay without knowing a single line of coding now <coughs> suppose what i want to show you here that is i am not going to show you this uh, creation of the hub and dashboard definitely maybe in my coming lecture i will come with this but now main focus is if somebody want to uh, upgrade uh, this data see so the confirm cases whatever it will be na so it is showing so i am taking this data sets from here so this is the west bengal uh, indian government data sets okay so which indian government is providing for the each districts okay so howra and all so that is it is it is giving it here so what i did i just take it i'm just showing you the very uh, uh, easy process because uh, if don't uh, if anybody don't want the uh, coding so they can make it very nicely this connection okay so uh, actually i work i this work i started from arcgis desktop okay so uh, then uh, i uh, i take this data sets in arcgis pro and then i take i can if i want i can take directly this data from arcgis desktop to arcgis online but uh, to showing you the process of migrations and the linking between arcgis desktop pro and online and the hub so that's why this demonstration i am going to give i hope you all will enjoy this okay please give your comments in the chat box also now just see here uh, what i did i have one data sets one excel data sets okay simply this excel data if you just open you see here these data sets will be there so within this i will uh, upgrade one of this uh, districts of the west bengal so that total cases which will see there na so that we can um, we can we can upgrade it okay so let's see uh, uh, which districts i can add suppose this hugli uh, hugli it is showing Uh, suppose 86 point something 86300 okay so as of now hugli i have how much uh, okay hugli it is 24000 so i will upgrade it up to 86300 confirmed cases okay so let's upgrade it hugli 86300 okay suppose this is the data okay so 86300 which i upgraded okay great now the question is what is the total number of cases so if i make it total number so it will be 90 a 986510 okay so my this value will going to change with this value okay so let's see let's check uh, this value will come or not so what i am going to do i am just going to save this now okay so i will going to save this okay so now uh, so first time whenever you are going to do this always save as in csv format okay so 
okay so this either you can save it in excel nitrogen 3 or else you can see it in any csv format okay so that will be supported by arcgis desktop or pro whatever you want so this <coughs> i just saved <coughs> now i'm closing it so now i'm going to open the uh, arcgis where i already have this mxd file which i already created now so that i am just open just see here so this data sets is already attached with that particular mxd file so whenever i am going trying to upgrade it so automatically it will upgrade but now you just see here how i am going to upgrade the data which is already attached in my mxd file okay as an excel sheet from that excel sheet i creating the 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 point file i'm going to create a point file on that okay so that file will be my upgraded file okay so just see here so this is uh, my old corona file okay so if you see the hugli number okay so what we will upgrade it that is okay so we are upgrading the hugli okay so the hugli one is 24 but we are upgraded it up to this one up to this hugli is 86300 so that should become okay that should become but here it is not there now as of now okay so we will upgrade it how will upgrade let's see ha huh? so i am just removing this particular point okay so this is my attach uh, excel so automatically this is upgraded so what i want to need just simply right click on this go to data export data okay so you just need to replace the old one okay the corona data ships so i am just replacing the old one okay i am the new points i am giving yes i am adding it to this so i will just change the shape of this particular point just see here i make it as a 14 okay and then i just simply open the attribute table okay and see what will what i have so now the hugli it is you just see here it is 86000 something okay now it is upgraded hugli is upgraded so i actually already open it okay so i what i want actually um, i want to upgrade this uh, west bengal corona so now i want to take it to uh, this um, uh, arcgis pro okay if i want i can just uh, simply log sign in and uh, i can publish it to arcgis online but uh, what i did actually i already uh, publish it and save it in uh, the pro already that's why i'm just showing you this process so you will understand the migration process also so whenever you want to migrate whatever work you did from in arcgis so that you want to migrate in uh, uh, arcgis online so you need to simply go for the save as okay so what do you need to go you need to go to save your uh, map in a mixed file okay so that only i already did okay so i just simply click on this uh, save button okay so if i click this save button so my mxd will save here so whatever i saved okay so the same thing will come and open over here in west bengal corona analysis so this is the uh, you can say a map file okay which i just similarly like with whatever we saved in mxd in arcgis so this is the mpx file so that is a kind of mxd project mx which we is actually saved by the arcgis pro so now in arcgis pro you will see the similar layer and everything is also upgraded even though i am not upgrading it here okay so that's the wonderful relationships between the arcgis desktop to arcgis pro means i know so many people who are familiar to work in the arcgis so you are already save your project in mxd file so very easily you can migrate in arcgis pro only saving your all data sets in just in a mxd okay so if you just saved in a mxd so all your data will open in arcgis pro very nicely and see all my data sets now it is coming very nicely in arcgis pro okay so here if i just now right click and go to attribute and now i will check the hugli one it should be upgraded to from um, that see now 86000 earlier it was 24000 something okay so now it is upgraded so what i am going to do now i am going to publish this layer to arcgis online to replace my old data sets which i have here okay so this one i will upgrade so i am just closing it now as of now okay so let's see how i am going to publish it 
so I have this one so before publishing one thing you remember you have to log in from here okay so I already log in from this okay so here you have uh, options for the sharing so just simply go in a sharing and here in a web layer you have the publish web layer and overlay layer. so when you doing the first time you go for the publish web layer but now as of now I'm going to up override the layer which I already published so simply I'm clicking on override the layer. okay so it will give you one message that can I uh, overwrite your layer or something so <coughs> that layer first you have to select and then this message will come to you see whatever the uh, in your my content whatever your layer you published in a so those are already there so see this is the final uh, West Bengal Corona data layer which I already feature class feature layer which I already published earlier okay so that I am just going to upgrade it okay so simply click on okay okay so it will give you uh, one uh, our our uh, message that yes we are going to overwrite your layer I said it is yes okay you should uh, overwrite it okay now it will take few minutes time to um, the sharing this uh, the content which I trying to publish okay so see here whatever it will be there you just uh, check okay so I'm not uh, changing anything okay so you have to publish it <coughs> either share or a group okay so whatever you want so simply you go for the analyze so if there is anything any any error will be there in your uh, data so it will just analyze and it will give you as a message okay so uh, you just check that okay so if it is um, uh, though no other message will come then no problem you can go for that. but yes this is the two things one is warning one is error so if there is error this error so you have to correct so this is actually allowing your assignment as a unique number so just simply double click on this okay and just allow this allow the assign other unique uh, numeric IDs to sharing the web layers so click on ok and again you can go for uh, one more time the analysis ok and just see if there is any kind of uh, error is coming again or not so if there is no error ok so if there is no error so you can easily publish your layer and update that web layer data which you are already created your hub na, that website you created that will automatically update okay so just see here i'm just simply click on publish so now it will take few minutes times to publish your layer uh, which uh, uh, will going to reflect over the website which we created okay so this will be a very interesting um, thing if uh, you are uh, working with uh, desktop arcgis pro and arcgis online uh, or you have your own server or portal so that wherever you are working okay so you can easily upgrade your websites okay just simply publishing your data you need not to do a single line of coding to uh, uh, to create this hub or this uh, dashboard okay or the websites which we are created so in a single hub in the single hub where i i just included my uh, dashboard which i just created okay the data which i am just taking it from here directly which is going to upgrade it there even that same data which i am uh, taking it uh, in my um, uh, dashboard okay both are linked okay so automatically both data will upgrade it my hub data is also upgrading and my uh, website that uh, uh, my dashboard data sets that is also upgraded within a few minutes okay so whenever i am just going to update you can uh, do this uh, technique by automations using a code in a python and uh, directly form that website so automatically it will upgrade so that process also you can do but if you are no and the coding then you can go for that but if you don't know about coding so simply you can uh, just uh, take the data from the websites take it in excel and this process will be very easy for you for to create this type of dashboard so just i am just clicking on my dashboard okay just see here now that dashboards definitely it will upgrade with my new data value which i just changed for the hoogly okay so that will reflect over my total confirmed cases so earlier see now now it is 9086 510 so which i showed you that time so it is perfectly upgraded okay so that's the wonderful thing over your uh, means uh, you can work over your uh, data 
okay and you can link together okay so you can work like this smartly okay so you can work like this okay so see this is a kolkata and wherever you will going to click now huh? so you can get the informations about all that is all the places okay so this is how okay so that is the way you can work so this is the hugli and i hope now you can see hugli is 86300 which i upgraded that time and now it is showing it here so you can check it so this is the hugli 86300 which is now reflecting in my websites also okay so i hope you all uh, like this lecture so this is a very interesting lecture which you can uh, attend and i hope uh, you all are enjoying that okay thank you thank you for thank you very much for your uh, attention thank you